Hey, what's up everyone? Today I want to talk to you about the one arm kettlebell exercises, the swing, clean, and snatch. And I was inspired to create this post by one of my new online clients who's just getting into the one arm exercise, the one arm swing and one arm clean. And she sent me videos um, so that I could help her with her form. And each exercise looked a little bit different in the back swing, so when the kettlebell is going back between the legs. With those three exercises I just mentioned, the swing, the one arm swing, clean, and snatch, we want the backswing to look the same no matter which exercise we're doing. That'll make sure that we're staying safe because we're in the right alignment and we're able to produce enough power to get to our next rep. So there are really three big things we want to focus on in our backswing to make sure we're staying safe and able to produce enough power, power to do the next rep. So the first thing we want to pay attention to is our breathing. We want to make sure that we're inhaling through the nose as the kettlebell is going back between your legs, whether it's a one-arm swing, snatch or from the clean rack position inhale through the nose as the bell goes back between your legs so it doesn't matter which exercise we're doing we inhale at the same time second thing we want to pay attention to is the connection of the arm to the torso again if we're doing a swing clean or snatch we want the forearm to connect to the inner thigh high up on the inner thigh so that the torso and the hips take the brunt of the force of the falling kettlebell. This will also set us up for a nice powerful rep as we can use our hips and torso to pull the bell forward into the swing, the clean, or the snatch. So make sure at your back swing, your forearm connects to your inner thigh, high up on the inner thigh, well above your knee, and that your upper arm, your bicep and tricep connect to your rib cage. And the third thing you wanna pay attention to is you want to make sure that your body is square and your spine is neutral. We don't want to go into rotation. So while some people, they can handle that, for the most part, when we're under a load, we want to keep the spine straight and neutral. So keep the shoulders nice and square as you come down. Again, no rotation. The more square your shoulders are, the more your core is going to kick in, which will just protect uh, your back a little bit better. So again, it doesn't matter if we're doing the snatch, the clean or the swing, stay square through the shoulders and torso rather than rotate. So I'm going to show you a few uh, one arm exercises and pay attention to my back swing. It's going to be the exact same for a swing, clean and snatch. So I did three different exercises, but they should have all looked the exact same as you go into your backswing. So really pay attention there. Again, it'll make your kettlebell exercises and workouts much safer and give you much more power as you prepare for your next rep. So if you need a guide on how to work out the kettlebell to really see results, get stronger, lose weight, then I invite you to download my free two-week kettlebell plan. This is for people who are a little bit more advanced, who know the one arm exercises to swing and clean. Um, I also go into, break, into detail on how to completely break down each exercise so that you're using the right form and you're staying safe. All you have to do is click on the link below this video to download your two week plan for free and you'll get a two week plan with three exercises per week and a complete breakdown of how to do each exercise. So I'll talk to you soon.